In this tutorial, you will learn what a market basket analysis, also called association analysis is, and how you can easily calculate it. And we'll get started right away. Let's say you have launched your own online store for clothing. Your goal now is to achieve the highest possible turnover with your store. In order to achieve the highest possible turnover, you of course want every customer to buy as much as possible. One way to motivate your customers to buy more products is to suggest more products. The big question then is, which product do I suggest to the customer best? This is where market basket analysis comes into play. What does market basket analysis do? The market basket analysis gives an answer to the question how likely it is that a customer will buy product A if he or she already has product B in the shopping cart. Therefore, the market basket analysis gives you an answer to the question which products or goods are often bought together. Thus, if a customer already has pants and shoes in the shopping cart, how likely is it that this customer will also buy a shirt or socks or a t-shirt? But now the question is, what do I need to calculate a market basket analysis? You need a list of past purchases in which you can see which products were bought together. So you have the products listed and each row is one transaction or purchase. To make this clearer, let's look at an example. Let's say that this is your example data. You have the products jeans, shirt, jacket and shoes. Each row is one transaction or a purchase. One means bought the product, zero means didn't buy the product. So the first person bought jeans, shirt and shoes. If you use data tab for the calculation, your data can also be in this form. So each row is a transaction and the purchased products are simply separated by a comma. In order to get results that we can also interpret, let's first calculate a market basket analysis for this data. In order to do this, we go to datadep.net, you find the link in the video description, and you copy your data into this table. These are of course very few cases, but as an example it should be enough. Then you click on plus and on the tab association analysis. We just click on all products. Now we can specify a minimum support and a minimum confidence. We will go through what support and confidence mean in a moment. Here below you get the results table and below the table you get an interpretation of the results from the first row. We'll go through this step by step now. What is LHS, RHS, frequency, support, confidence and what is the lift? For this example data, DataDab has given us these association rules. Each row in this table is one association rule. The association rules are in the form if the products under left hand side are present in a transaction, then the products under right hand side are also present with some probability. Frequency tells us how often the products under left hand side and right hand side occur in a transaction. So in our case, how often does shirt and shoes occur in a transaction? So let's just count through in how many transactions both occur. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So the frequency is 8. In 8 transactions, shirt and shoes occur together. Support tells us what percentage of all transactions that is, or in other words, how likely it is that shirt and shoes occur in a transaction. So we just divide the frequency by the number of all transactions. We have 19 transactions in total, so we get 8 divided by 19, which is equal to 0.42. Therefore, the probability of shirt and shoes occurring in a transaction together is 42%. 
Confidence now tells us if the products on the left hand side occur in an order, how likely it is that the products on the right hand side are then also in the shopping cart. In our example this means how likely is it that if shirt occurs in the shopping cart, then shoes will also be in the shopping cart. We can calculate this by dividing the frequency of shirt and shoes by the frequency of shirt. And finally the lift. The lift indicates the factor by which the probability of buying the products on the right hand side increases if the products on the left hand side have already been bought. So let's look at our example again. If the product shirt is in a shopping cart it is 1.27 times more likely that shoes will be purchased than if the product shirt is not in the shopping cart. If you need support with the market basket analysis or you need an individual solution, just contact us. We can help you for sure. And finally, a critical note about the market basket analysis. Let's say your market basket analysis shows that if a person buys a pair of pants and shoes, there is a high probability that he or she will also buy a shirt. Now you suggest a shirt to all customers who buy pants and shoes. By doing this, you increase the probability that a shirt will be bought under this condition and a further market basket analysis will be falsified. I hope you enjoyed the video and see you next time.